Have you ever wondered how a common virus like HPV can lead to something as serious as cancer? This question may seem complex, but today, we're going to attempt to unravel this mystery. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a common virus that's transmitted through intimate skin-to-skin -skin contact. It's so prevalent that nearly all sexually active men and women will get at least one type of HPV at some point in their lives. I know that's a staggering thought, isn't it? But hold on, it's not all doom and gloom. There are over a hundred different types of HPV, but not all are created equal. You see, some types of HPV can lead to health problems like warts, while others can cause infections that may eventually turn into cancer. These high-risk types of HPV are a bit like those uninvited guests who overstay their welcome, causing all sorts of trouble in your body. Now let's get a little more specific. Some types of HPV can cause cancers of the cervix, vagina, and vulva in women, cancers of the penis in men, and cancers of the anus and back of the throat, including the base of the tongue and tonsils in both men and women. This might sound alarming, but remember, not all types of HPV cause cancer, and not everyone who gets HPV will develop these types of diseases. But why does this matter? Well, understanding what HPV is, how it's transmitted, and its potential to cause cancer is the first step towards prevention and early detection. Because let's face it, knowledge is power. And in this case, it could even be a lifesaver. So, as we delve deeper into this topic, remember the goal here is not to scare you, but to arm you with the facts and dispel any myths surrounding HPV. Understanding the role HPV plays in the development of cancer is crucial in prevention and early detection. So, let's continue this journey, and together we'll unravel the mystery of HPV. Now that we know what HPV is, what risks does it pose? Let's dive right into it. The health risks associated with HPV, or human papillomavirus, are far-reaching, affecting both men and women. One of the most common risks is the development of genital warts, a highly contagious condition that can cause discomfort and embarrassment. But genital warts are just the tip of the iceberg. HPV is also linked to several types of cancer. The virus can cause cancers of the cervix, vagina, vulva, penis, anus, and oropharynx, which includes the back of the throat, base of the tongue, and tonsils. In fact, HPV is responsible for virtually all cases of cervical cancer, a disease that affects thousands of women each year. But it's not just a women's issue. Men are not spared either. HPV can lead to penile and anal cancer in men. And let's not forget about oropharyngeal cancers. They're more common in men than women, and rates are rising. The connection between these cancers and HPV highlights the indiscriminate nature of the virus. It doesn't care who you are or where you come from. Now this might sound scary, but it's crucial to remember that not all HPV infections lead to cancer. Many people with HPV never develop any symptoms or health problems at all. The body's immune system often eliminates the virus naturally over time. However, when the virus persists, when it stays in the body for years, that's when problems can arise. This is why regular checkups and screenings are so vital. They help to detect HPV and related health issues early before they can develop into something more serious. Screenings like the PAP test or HPV test for women can identify changes in the cervix that might lead to cancer. For men, there's currently no approved HPV test, but regular checkups can help detect issues like genital warts or anal cancer. The risks associated with HPV are serious, but with regular screenings and vaccinations, they can be managed. So stay informed, stay vigilant, and remember that knowledge is the best defense against HPV. HPV and cancer, what is the connection, you might be wondering? Well, let's delve into this a little deeper. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a group of more than 150 related viruses. Each HPV virus in this large group is given a number which is called its HPV type. Some types of HPV cause warts on the hands or feet, but others, particularly types 16 and 18, can lead to changes in the cells of the cervix, a condition known as dysplasia, which can eventually develop into cervical cancer if not treated. It's an insidious process. The virus infiltrates the cell's DNA, causing it to replicate incorrectly. Over time, these abnormalities can accumulate, leading the cell to behave more and more unusually, growing and dividing at a rapid, uncontrolled rate. This is how a cancerous tumor begins. Cervical cancer is the most common cancer associated with HPV, but it is not the only one. The virus can also cause cancers in the back of the throat, including the base of the tongue and tonsils, a disease known as oropharyngeal cancer. 
In addition to this, HPV can also lead to anal cancer. It's important to note that not all HPV infections will lead to cancer. In fact, the majority of HPV infections go away on their own thanks to the mighty powers of the immune system. However, when the immune system can't get rid of a high-risk HPV infection, it can linger over time and potentially turn into cancer. It's a frightening thought, but awareness is the first step towards prevention. Understanding the connection between HPV and cancer can help us recognize the importance of regular screenings and vaccinations. So, what's the takeaway here? The connection between HPV and cancer is complex. It isn't a straightforward path from infection to disease. It's a slow process, one that can take years, even decades, to develop. While not all types of HPV lead to cancer, the link between the two is undeniable and something we should all be aware of. So what can we do to protect ourselves from HPV and its associated risks? The answer is twofold, prevention and early detection. Let's start with prevention. HPV vaccination is our best line of defense. It's not just for women. Men too should consider this vaccination as a proactive step towards their health. This vaccine can significantly reduce the risk of contracting the virus, making it a crucial component of HPV prevention. Next, let's talk about early detection. Regular screenings can catch HPV-related health issues before they escalate. This includes routine pap smears for women and HPV tests for men. These screenings can identify any abnormalities early on, leading to timely treatment and better outcomes. Remember, HPV doesn't discriminate. Both men and women can be affected and both can benefit from these preventive measures. So take charge of your health. Get vaccinated, get screened, and stay informed. Prevention and early detection are key when it comes to HPV and its associated risks. Let's recap what we've learned about HPV and cancer. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is a common virus affecting both men and women. Its risks are significant, as many types can lead to cancer if left undetected or untreated. HPV is linked to various types of cancer, including cervical, throat, and anal cancer. The connection between HPV and cancer is undeniable, making early detection and prevention paramount. Regular screenings and the HPV vaccine are effective ways to mitigate these risks. Remember, prevention is better than cure. The HPV vaccine is available and highly recommended, especially for young adults. Regular checkups and screenings are also crucial, as early detection can greatly reduce the risk of developing cancer. Knowledge is power, and understanding HPV and its link to cancer is a crucial step towards prevention and early detection. Stay informed, stay healthy.